Hi, this is a ridiculously simple one-wide tunnel bore. It works like this. Push this, it moves a step, it shoots a TNT, and the TNT explodes. This is a tunnel I just made with it, so it does work. Uh, the TNT duper I'm using here, when which made this all possible, is a design by Ilmango, which he designed for his peaceful challenge. And originally there were honey blocks here, and of course they can still be honey blocks. Works just as well with them. You can use slime, you can use honey. Your choice. And the only other change I did to the TNT duper part is I changed the block here, which used to be a slab, into an observer. So the way this works, it's my single step engine. I have a different video explaining how it works, but basically you click this, it moves one step. This pokes the TNT duper. The TNT duper shoots the TNT, which lands on this ancient debris, which will not explode. And at the same time, this observer makes this piston poke this whole contraption forward. This is a sticky piston, this observer makes the sticky piston pull this piston back. So we can keep everything nice and compact. You need three blocks of ancient debris here. It might be possible to replace this one with something that is very blast proof, but I haven't tested that. If you find something, let me know in the comments, then we could make this even cheaper. Although it's not too hard to find ancient debris. The blocks here, here, and here are lights for practical reasons, because when I first was trying this in my survival world, I found that it's very hard to see what you've actually blown up, and adding lights to your tunnel bores generally helps. Although, uh, depending on if you have Optifine or Sodium or Vanilla rendering, they do cause light issues when they are pushed, so if you have problems with the blinking lights, you can just replace these lights with any solid block. It should be just fine. The only hard part about building the TNT duper, if you've never done it before, is the way you place the minecart, not the actual TNT. So... You build it like this. Like this, like this, you place the TNT here, but you do not place the rail and the minecart here. You place the rail on some block beside it, take a piston and some way to activate that piston, and you push it in. That way the TNT will not explode. That's the only hard part about building this thing. Everything else should be clear from what you're seeing here. The blocks are obvious. This is a sticky piston if you don't want to watch my guide for the single step engine. And this is also a sticky piston. The hole it makes, you can see here. It will make a hole two blocks above the middle. And that hole stretches... I think always, I will not guarantee this because I haven't done a too long tunnel with just this one wide machine, but I'm pretty sure that it stretches for two blocks on both sides of the middle block. The bottom block, on the other hand, that's where the floor of the explosion is, so you cannot have any sticky blocks like honey or slime on the bottom layer of the machine. And if you want a little bit upgraded version, this is a two barrel design. So the front parts are exactly the same as that one. They are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks apart. That I have found to be optimal. 
And in the middle here, we just push them with a bar of slime, which we pull with the single step engine. So like this. And again. And the details should also be quite obvious from what you're seeing here. And of course, we can also make a four wide design without too much complexity of trying to synchronize the explosions because you want the explosions to happen at the same time or the TNTs will be pushing each other into random directions and potentially destroying the machine. So this is like this part and exactly the same here. So this is the double barrel machine. And in the middle, we just have a bar of slime pushing the whole thing forward. So like this. And this one I designed with the middle bit as far forward as I could because it makes it more convenient to use when you can actually see everything in front of you. And this is the profile of the tunnel it makes. So as you can see, we are actually one block lower at certain parts of the tunnel. So you should not have slime blocks up here because that could potentially stick. And for the two barrel design, it has the same, well, not problem, but it's, it's, you have to also avoid slime up here because there is also a line in the middle. If you want to avoid the line in the middle, you need to pull the barrels a little bit closer to each other, but then you risk that the TNT will affect the lights on the other side. You need to experiment with that. I have not done those experiments. In the worst case, this has to be ancient debris as well. That should be it. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. I'll answer anything I understand. But otherwise, thanks for watching and happy boring.